What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's KBB Alpha here once again, and today I have another unboxing and review video for you. Uh, it is a little different from what I've been unboxing and reviewing lately. Now, uh, I've been meaning to replace some of the keys on my gaming keyboard, and I just got around to actually just kind of researching them here. And uh, I found these, uh, these rubber keycaps from Vulture. Now, uh, this costs around $22, and it does include uh, 18 keycaps, as you can see right there, as well as the key puller. So uh, I've never done this before, so maybe this video will be twofold. I'll go ahead and unbox and uh, review, and maybe uh, I'll show you guys how you can go ahead and replace the keycaps on your uh, keyboard. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is uh, pretty much what was inside the box here. Now, as you can see, I did get the blue version. Uh, they do offer three additional colors. They have pink, purple, and red. So uh, these are the keys. There are 18 of them here with the included key puller. Now, like I said, I've never done this before, so uh, we're both going to learn here today. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out my keyboard, and we can go ahead and start replacing some of these keys. All right, so everyone, here is my gaming keyboard. I'm going to be using this one to replace some of the keys. Uh, it is a uh, Corsair wireless keyboard. Um, I believe the model is the K63. Um, it is a 60% keyboard, so it does not have the uh, numpad here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. All right, so I'm going to take the, the key puller here. And I'm going to assume it just goes, slides in like that. Maybe this way. We'll see. Maybe I should just try it on like a, a random key that I don't, that I barely use here. So, um, let's go with the up arrow key. Oh, and just like that, it popped right off. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put it back. Pretty sure I can just put it back just by pressing down on it. It does have that uh, little indent there. Let's see if uh, camera doesn't want to focus on it. All right, go ahead and place it back like that. Wait till it has a little snap sound, and there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and take the keys that I want to replace. We're going to go with the WASD keys. S and... D. Where's the D? <laughs> there we go. All right. So let me go ahead and zoom this in a little bit closer. All right. So we're going to be working with the WASD keys here. Let's go ahead and use our key puller. Simple, just like that. All right. There's the A, there's the S, and there's the D. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and replace them. Let me go ahead and see if I can get a good close-up view of this. That's how the key looks like. It's a, it's a mix between rubber and and plastic so it does kind of have that rubber feel the top does have like this diamond finish so you can uh 
if you can see that there. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in. W, okay. Let's put in the A. Let's put in the S. And put in the D. The D. <laughs> All right. There we go. Now let's go ahead and zoom out here. So it does give it some nice definition there. I do like the blue. It does stand out and it kind of matches the, the blue underlying color here beneath my keys. So uh, let's go ahead and see what else we can replace here. I go, go ahead and replace the arrow keys as well since we're here. Up arrow and the right arrow. All right, guys, so uh, I think that's it. I don't feel like replacing any other of the keys. I do like the uh, the contrast, you know, this keyboard now has with the new key setup here. Now, uh, before you guys go out and, you know, purchase this or replace any of your keys, please make sure that it is the correct uh, key style and layout. Now the uh, the key style for this uh, is a Cherry MX switch. So just make sure that your keyboard does have that type of uh, key layout and you'll be able to replace this here. So uh, let's go ahead and try the LED um, as this keyboard does have a blue LED light system here. So let's go ahead and give that a try. All right, everybody. So I've gone ahead and just zoomed in on my keyboard a little bit here. So let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, and let's turn on the LEDs here. Hmm, nice, all right, all right, that looks pretty good. Turn up the brightness, turn it off. All right, let's go ahead and turn off this lamp here and see how that looks like. Very nice. Let's go ahead and kind of move this a little bit further. So you can see the brightness of the switch. Now, as you can see, there is a contrast between the other switches, but you know, obviously that is expected as this is not an OEM uh, key here. Now it does bleed through a little bit and you know, honestly, I'm fine with that. You know, it helps me, it can help you find the keys better if you are playing in the dark. You know, as you can see here, let's bring this back out again. So I went ahead and zoomed it in a little bit here just so you guys can see the difference between the uh, Vulture caps as opposed to the stock uh, Corsair caps. Now as you can see the Vulture uh, keycaps here that I just replaced uh, my uh, WASD keys with, uh, they are textured. It does have a diamond uh, texture here and it does feel uh, a little rubberized as well as opposed to the smoothness that you can see from my other keys here. Now as for uh, as for typing or, you know, playing first person shooter games, uh, I can see where the value would be in, you know, knowing where your fingers are, as these will be the only keys that have the textured grip. Uh, now personally, I don't have that issue, um, you know, finding the correct keys. Uh, however, I did, I did, um, notice that if I'm playing games at night, uh, with the lights off and this is the only thing, you know, that's on, uh, my fingers will go off on different keys. Um, and it does take maybe a second or two to readjust where my, uh, finger placement's at. But for the most part, I really do like the, the, uh, difference in texture with these keys. Another good thing that I like about this product is that uh, for my keyboard at least, it sits correctly uh, aligned with the rest of the keys. Now there's no difference in height. They all sit the same height. Now I the height may be an issue with other um, 
with other rubber keycaps uh, and other keyboards. Maybe I was just lucky to have all the keycaps fit perfectly here. Uh, but as for this particular keyboard, all of the keycaps fit uh, uniformly the same height as the other keys. All right, everybody, so that's pretty much it for my unboxing and review and partial uh, how to replace your uh, computer keyboard keys here. Now, uh, if you like what you saw, please, you know, leave a like, maybe leave a comment too, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.